And so Jira and Slack are both awesome products. Yeah. And we felt like integrating those two things really brought a lot of value to our customers. Hi, welcome to The Demo Den, a monthly look at what's shipped in Jira Software Cloud by the makers of Jira. I'm Claire Drummond, and today I'm joined with Trevor Thompson, who is the PM on the Jira and Slack integration. Trevor, welcome. Thank you. Excited to look at it. Um, Slack and Jira are two products that people love to uh, use together, so excited to see what you've built. Um, before we dive in, can you tell me a little bit about why you built the integration? Yeah, sure. So we, we kind of believe that with the power of both Jira and Slack, um, by bringing Jira into Slack and into the conversation, that teams can collaborate better and move faster ultimately. Awesome, great. Um, so what are you gonna show me today? So I'm gonna show two demos today. We've made some changes on the configuration front. Um, the first demo we'll go through is whenever you invite the Jira bot into the channel, yeah. uh, previously you would always get notifications for things like the issue was assigned or commented on, uh -huh. or something like that, right? We've changed the default to what we feel is actually the best, which is just whenever issues are created. We still give you the option to add all of the other things after. Okay, and how do you add the other things? So if you go into Jira and into the Slack integration, you type slash Jira manage, um, you can see all the different subscriptions that you have for that channel, including the one that you may have just created. Um, actually, interestingly, this is the, the next part of the demo, which is where I'm gonna show a little bit about the new webhook types that we have. What are you showing here? The... So I'm showing the new configuration page. Yeah. The new configuration page has uh, new webhook types on it. Okay. And so uh, a couple of things that you'll see are like issue linked and work log notifications that you can subscribe to. So we really give you the full realm of possibilities of anything that's happening in Jira, you can subscribe to those events in, in Slack. Awesome. Um, the second demo I'm gonna show is another new feature that we have around uh, link previews. And so in Slack, if you've ever sent a link to a YouTube video, you'll mm -hmm. notice you actually see the video in Slack. Yeah, the description. And, 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 yeah. and you can click the video and watch it directly in Slack, right? Yeah. You can do that Great. in Slack with the Jira Slack integration. So you can pull the information that that's important to, to from the Jira ticket into your Slack channel so you don't have to context switch and go from Slack exactly. to Jira all the time. And without even having to do anything. Yeah. It's actually completely out of the box. Great. And so now whenever I uh, message my colleagues and say, hey, have you seen uh, what's the latest on this ticket? I can actually see it before I even ask the question because um, the status and the, the assignee and how many comments and things like that are all in that link preview. So now it's time for the spicy question of the month. This is a time when we take the top rated questions from customers and um, ask our PMs directly. And uh, this question is rated about a peppered on the spicy meter. <laughs> and uh, the question is, if you're a guest user on Slack, what happened to my link previews? Yeah, so great question. Um, I, I do think it's pretty spicy. Um, <laughs> one of the things that has happened with our new shipment of link previews is that guest users can no longer show those link previews anymore. Um, this is because on the back end, we've changed the authentication me mechanism mm -hmm. so that users are actually uh, proving that they have access to the tickets that they're sharing and showing previews for. Great. Uh, one of the side effects of that though is that guest users can't actually do that anymore mm -hmm. because our integration is not installable by guest users in Slack. Oh, I see. However, <laughs> I assure you that we have an answer coming soon um, for guest users to be able to unlock this functionality as well um, and unblock the, the people that are uh, giving spicy questions to us. So. <laughs> awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much for showing the demo. I hope that everybody will install the Slack and Jira Cloud integration after seeing this and, yeah. and definitely let us know your feedback. So make sure that you go to the link at the bottom of the screen and ask Trevor and team any questions that you have on the Atlassian community. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Thanks. Um, can you tell me first uh, a little bit about... Um... Damn, I said issue bug again. Uh, <laughs> and uh, but today's uh, 